what India needs to do for 2024. They came out with a killer bike, engine, suspension, everything, technology, but there are things that are lacking. Sport touring models is, is what's next. Right, sure is growing, but it's not growing at the rate that it needs to grow. It's the bike that everybody wants. If nobody wants a bagger, they want that bike. Let's just copy everything the Indian does. Something comparable. You gotta compete. Something you gotta compete. Welcome back to the video, guys. Me with my boy, Rich. Cheers, bro. Beautiful day. Let's talk about Indians, man. Indian content. I thought it'd be a good idea to talk about what India needs to do for 2024. It's September of 2023. No, it's October already. It's yeah. October of 2023 already. You got a few months left in the year. What does India need to do right now to compete with Harley Davidson for the years to come? Right? So what, what we saw last year, um, something big that did was the sport chief. Man, let me tell you, this bike is really, really, really nimble. Really easy to use. <laughs> it's a tie! Right. They first came out with the, uh, with the Chief a few years ago. Awesome, that bike was made to compete with the Lowrider S, uh, Street Bob, right? right. And then uh, that same bike got a like, nice little makeover, which became the Sport Chief. Right. Um, to compete with the low rider s right right <clears throat> amazing job that that's the main target they have the challenger to compete with the uh, road glide and they have the ch um the chieftain the to, chieftain to compete the with the, the street glide right yeah so th 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 i think there's there's a space for a lot to do in the next year or two to compete um and come closer to, to what harley does when it comes to sales and everything else yeah there's definitely room for improvement um Listen, as an Indian owner, because you're an Indian owner, just so everyone you know, Rich has a blue, uh, blue two-tone blue and black uh, Indian Challenger. We'll give you guys a nice little clip of what that bike looks like right now. And then he also has a CVR Harley Davidson. Right, so I got them both done up pretty well. Um, there's a lot of room for improvement on the, on the Indian Challenger. Um, personally, I feel, first of all, I feel like they need to come out with more stuff that you can personalize it with a little bit more. Yeah. So. From the Indian catalog From itself. From the Indian catalog itself, yeah. I mean, listen, they know that there's a million manufacturers for Harley. You can buy 30 different types of floorboards, 30 different type of hand controls. So why limit yourself to, listen, I'm not saying you got to go off the rails. I know it costs money to mass produce all that. So, but you got to give some more options. Like if you want to put a Behringer style hand control versus your factory levers, you got you know you want to have that option you know mm -hmm. shorty levers something something a little bit different it's gonna make you want to make your indian challenger your own kind of like you do with the harley and that's one of the big allures of harley i believe that you everybody's harley i don't care how many guys if 10 guys show up with 10 road glides each one has their own individual touch yeah. right so you want to be able to show up with your challenger and your chieftain or your FTR or, or your your your, chief, your yeah your sport chief and stand out. Not that you want to be you know it's not, I'm not saying that you're going to be better or worse or whatever, but you're going to have something that's like, oh that's fuck that's Junior's bike yeah that's Rich's bike yeah you know what I mean it, it really makes it stand out. I mean when when it comes to Harley Harley has a lot of uh, aftermarket companies. But Harley also has like the Screaming Eagle stuff that they sell. Harley also has like, you know, like they do like the Kahuna grips. They do the Empire Collection, which I have on my bike. Right. So they do do, <clears throat> and that's among some stuff. They have the Willie G Collection, just a ton of stuff that they sell in house. So I think that's what India needs to do. Correct. You know? Like, uh, so for example, um, a Challenger, right? The way yours is, Your, yours is like a performance driven bagger right right that, yeah. that that that's your build so that they need to have like their own line of performance looking parts or performance bagger parts right to make your bike look like a performance <clears throat> bagger act like it look like it feel like it right. you know yeah exactly but and, and that needs to come from indian themselves right and you know what the groundwork's already there like i know they've worked with barnstormers 
and they've done something in the past because I've watched their video on YouTube before, long before I ever got my challenger. Um, <clears throat> so what that tells me is you're already willing to work with other companies. So, you know, even if you come up with your own stuff, work with some other companies and you start diversifying a little bit, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like you start having those things that people are like, oh, you know what? I like those hand controls. I want that. Oh, I like that fender. Let me do that fender rather than just your standard Indian yeah, fender. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, those are those are the things. Listen, you came out. With, they came out with a killer bike, engine, suspension, everything, technology, great. But there are things that are lacking, and it's not a knock on them. If if it was a knock on them, I wouldn't own it. That's the bottom line. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, I wouldn't buy it. But I didn't think it was a great bike. But I spent a fair amount of money, and I had to search high and low. And guess what? Yeah. Now I know who to go to. But you know, sometimes you don't want to. Not everybody's like us, right? They want to make it their own, but they're not willing to do the research. You want to look at Harley or Indian, and they open up their catalog and be like, oh, I like that. That's what I'm going to order. You know? <clears throat> Just options. Pe people, because not everybody's going to have the same taste. Correct. And and that's the reason why there are so many different aftermarket companies out there who make uh, the same product, but just to look different. Right. So everybody has their different taste, and everybody wants their bike to look different, like you said, right? So uh, uh, I think the, the parts from Indian definitely need to be there. Um, I think one thing uh, that Indian needs to fix, because I don't know if you noticed, but if you go to an Indian dealership, it just, it doesn't feel homey. You know, so they, they're nothing to do with their bikes, but they're, the dealerships themselves, it, their dealerships kind of look like pop-up shops, Yeah. right? Their merchandise is not where it needs to be. Right. There is it's just super basic stuff. You'll have like a gray t-shirt with just Indian on it. It's like I right. think we, we gotta get a little bit more creative when it comes to the merchandise, t-shirts. I mean I mean you know how many people buy Harley Davidson t-shirts? Because they're 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 cool. And Harley Harley Davidson makes so much money. I, I, they probably make more they I, they make more money off their merchandise like this and yeah. this. Probably more than what they do on bikes. Right. Because everybody mm -hmm. wants to own a piece of the company. Everybody wants a, a Harley shirt. And there's so many. And they get so creative with their designs. Here's a perfect example of exactly what you're saying. They have There's people out there wearing Harley gear that don't even ride. Yeah. I've seen it. I've seen it. Men, women, kids with, with Harley t-shirts. And I'm not even talking about it's a family with a, a kid. I'm not talking about a kid that's wearing a Harley t-shirt. Oh, he doesn't ride. Of course not. No, I'm talking about people. I'm like, oh, what are you riding? They're like, oh no, I just like the T-shirt. And I'm like, oh, all right, cool. Yeah. And you and you know what? Nobody's looking at them sideways because no. they're like, Harley stuff is dope, and yeah. we like it, so yeah. we understand. It's a culture. Yeah. You know, and Indian needs to, in my opinion, um, and obviously yours, I would think, um, we, they need to come up with something that creates more of a culture. Yeah. More of that. Wow, I like that. You know what? I'm gonna wear it just because. Like it's a flannel that says Harley, but yeah. guess what? It's still warm, looks comfortable, and I can wear it with a pair of jeans and go to the bar, or go bowling, or go to you know my cousin's yeah. house, or go hang out with my boys, whatever. You know. So. I, I I um I, I work retail. So for you guys that don't know what I do, I, I work retail. So I'm I'm into the fashion industry. I know what sells. I I I know what. Uh, trends are coming they're gonna be up and coming and they're gonna be selling and stuff that you might look at sideways in the future is gonna be you know like I have a good eye for that um, and, and like tell me like Indian really needs to upgrade their attire like they really do um, another thing that they got to do <clears throat> is <clears throat> events they, they gotta they gotta start doing their own events right like not piggybacking off others not even that, but it's, you know, like, if, if you think about any huge event, motorcycle event throughout the years, right, it's... Harley-based. People think, oh, that it's, it's a Harley mm -hmm. event. It's not a Harley event. Right. But so many people show up on their Harleys there, and it's, and it's like, Harley-driven, and it's like, if you roll down two, three blocks, and then you have, like, an Indian standard, but it's just not known. Right. Right? Um, it, I think they need to start coming up with their own events. I agree. Right? Like rallies, events, and just, I'm pretty sure it's going to start off small, <clears throat> right? Is is the Indian following as big as Harley? No. But you start off small, you build up, and then you create the culture. Right. You know? I agree. And like you said, they, 
they need to start and build it into culture. Right, and it's going to take time. I mean, listen, yeah. as long as it's been, I mean, look how long they've been around. The same, they've been around more or less the same time, regardless of who started first. But it took that long to build this culture, and you know, it's going to be, it's going to be work. You know what I mean? Listen, yeah. I, I'm telling you right now, I was at a fundraiser on s Sunday, and I had. Two guys, one guy that switched over completely to to Indian from Harley, mm -hmm. and like you couldn't even talk to him before. So, the culture is growing, but it's not growing at the rate that it needs to grow. All right, and there's another guy who is going away now on a trip that he just went away. They all went away, and he's like, "Yeah, bro, let me ask you something. Ask me all these questions about my Indian, you know." And I was honest with him, so I'm like, "Listen, you ever want to take it for a spin?" Let me know. I'm yeah. like, more than welcome. I know the guy. I trust the guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? But he was another guy who was diehard Harley. So, again, the culture is growing for Indian, but it needs not to... Not at the pace. Right. Not at the pace that it, you know... But that, that comes down to what I said. Like, you come, you start doing events. You start doing rallies. You start doing more special stuff and, and bringing the name out there. And you'll, you'll call the attention. And once you start bringing up products like the Challenger and the Chief and everything where people are going to be like, whoa, like, what is that? Right. Indian? I, I'm, oh, I'm wow. gonna. Well, that's an Indian. Like, I didn't oh, know they had that. Oh, that exactly. You know, like, you know, it's, yeah, it's a lot. Um, what, what, what thing I really want to talk about? So, I, I want to go back to talking about the chief. Like that bike was made to fight against the low rider. The sport chief was made to target the low rider S. Right. Um, <clears throat> One of Harley Davidson's biggest, most important motorcycles that they've probably built in the past few decades is the Lowrider ST. Absolutely beautiful bike. They knocked it out of the park. Beautiful design fairing. Um, and it's just a Lowrider S with a new fairing and bags. Right. Um, I think that's where uh, Indian needs to <clears throat> challenge Harley at and compete with them. Because not for nothing, but the segment for the uh sport touring models is is what's next right and i've been saying it for years i've been i i made a few videos even i'm like harley harley needs to make a a, a smaller bagger <clears throat> uh a, a a sport touring model right and that's what they did with, with the uh with the low rider s um it's a retro because back in the 80s harley made the fxr fxrt fairing right um, and that bike was around, so th this is a, a, a homage to that bike. Um, India doesn't have that, but I think if Indian is able to somehow take the Chief and uh, build around that bike, they could have something there. Absolutely. Because you you want to have uh, <clears throat> you want to have something to compete with the most important motorcycles that Hardy has, which is right now when it comes to the baggers is the Challenger. Street Glide, yes, but the Challenger is, is their main, that, 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 that's, that's what everybody wants, everybody wants a Challenger. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> I said Challenger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Road Glide. Road Glide. Uh, you know, everybody, when it comes to Harley, they, if you're thinking about baggers, everybody wants a Road Glide now. Right. Um, so, and you made the Challenger, compete, great. Um, and then I would say Harley Davis's secondary most important bike right now is the little Rider ST. Without a doubt. That's the bike that everybody wants. If nobody wants a bagger, they want that bike. If you're coming off a Sportster or Softail, you want that bike. So you kind of want to compete with that bike right now. So, Indian, if you're listening, take your notes, look at that bike. You know, um, I'm not saying, hey, <clears throat> let's just copy everything that Indian uh, that Harley Davidson does, but something comparable. You got to compete. Something you got to compete. Something, you got to compete. When that Lowrider S T came out. I couldn't believe they couldn't keep them on the floors. Yeah. So if Indian, like you said, take your notes. If you do that, right, and you make something that's comparable, something to compete with it. <clears throat> I don't listen. I don't care if anybody says, that, "Oh, it's a copy." Oh, like dude, it doesn't matter what they come out with. They're gonna say something. It's, a, it's always gonna be similar. some kind of critique. You gotta so, compete. But you have to compete. And how many uh, sedans are there <laughs> out in the world when they when you talk about cars? Forget it. Uh, how many? If you, let's say if you have, you, you got a truck. Yeah. What do you have? I have a truck. F one fifty. F one fifty. Okay. Well, Ram. Fifteen hundred. Ram fifteen hundred. Very similar. You know. Toyota. Same thing. Chevy. Chevy. GMC. GMC. Nissan. 
yeah. Toyota, I said Toyota. Yeah. Uh, Honda has a Even truck. Even Honda came out with a... You know, like... Ev- okay, so what are you going to say? That they're all copies? No, like, they're, they're all They're all their version of their particular model. And guess what? I happen to like the Ford better. That's my opinion, but... Everybody's going to like something better. But I just... You're not even in the ball game yet. That's my opinion. Yeah. They're not in the ball game, and I agree. Listen, not everybody wants a 900-pound, 800-pound bagger. So you know what? You get something in between, and you end up with a low-rider ST. And if Indian comes out with something comparable like that, yeah. I think it's going to be a big hit, personally. If, if you could tour on it, add some bags on there, nice designed fairing, um, I'm, I'm sure they could do it, uh, and, and it'll look good. Crush it. So crush it. who knows? We'll, 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 we'll see what, what's on the pipeline. Um, what else that, that does India need to do on, on your end? Um, the biggest thing for them, I guess, would be, um, like I said, the parts. The parts, they got to customize it. Personal um, accessories. Yeah, personal accessories. Personal accessories, apparel, I mean, all that stuff for the bikes and, and for clothing. You know, just really step up on that. And I think that's going to be a huge, yeah. a huge thing in the market that's going to open people's eyes and they're going to be like, oh, wow. They're doing something. And again, promotion. Yeah. Their biggest promotion is... Their, or their biggest thing they need to do is promote more of what they're making, all these new things that are coming out. That's why the Challenger took off the way it does. That's why I think it's gotten so much traction, you know? I mean, I, I think I think the, the the PR team has been doing a good job when it comes to introducing these bikes and what they've been doing with, with, with the program, with influencers and the journalists and everything like that. So... They, they've been doing a great job with that. India was honestly, and everybody thinks that if, if it's always Harley Davidson, Indian was the one that first kind of gave me my big first shot. Yeah. Before Harley Davidson took me anywhere or worked with this or that, Indian was the one who he said, hey, we saw your video, we think it's awesome. Yeah. Would you want to come out here and ride this brand new bike that we're about to launch, That's which awesome. was the Chief? And I was like, what? You know? It, it, <laughs> You know, yeah. So I yeah. mean, the, the the PR team does a great job, and and you know they do a great job with the whole. They're very diverse, which is awesome. Right. You know, they're they're promoting in different segments where where they should promote into, and different ages. Right. So which is something that Indian is is doing very strategic. Is that they're not just sticking with one type of group. One demographic. One right. demographic is uh is very spread out. Yeah, I like from them. all ages. Right. Which is awesome. Yeah. Like, I, one of the places I work, every day I see a younger dude always ride by in an Indian. Yeah. And I know, because I, I kind of heard the motor, and I, so it made me look and I, every day. So they are catering to a diverse crowd, like yeah. you said, versus your 42, yeah. you know, 35 to 45, 55, 65 yeah. range. And in the past years, I think that they're catering more to a younger crowd, though, which is smart because, I mean, the younger crowd is where you should be catering to right now because those are going to be the people who are going to be spending the next few years buying or upgrading your, your motor, uh, their motorcycles, um, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Listen, those, as they get older and they make more money, they're going to want, they're going to go up from that, you know, sport chief to maybe challenger a challenger or a chieftain springfield you know, yeah whatever. something you know one of the bigger baggers that yeah they're, they're a little bit pricey and maybe they can't afford them but they're riding that that indian for a reason now or they're interested in that indian now i mean to be honest with you my first my first bagger was a victory mm-hmm. yeah, it's so you know it, it, from there i went and got a uh <clears throat> a chieftain, but I always wanted a Harley. Mm-hmm. You know, now I got the best of both worlds, so I have no complaints. You know, but I'm not gonna lie, I was looking forward to 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 riding it again. You know, and, and making some content with you. But that that that's why that the the bike that India needs to make to compete with the low rider series so, is so important because not everybody can afford a bagger, but everybody, I mean, for the, the average Joe, can kind of afford. Uh, uh, a chief that's kind of modded up to look like a like a yeah. mini bagger, you know. That's that it. that's something that's like, I, if I can't afford a a, a a a challenger, I could afford this. Right. You know, it's my price range. It's lighter. It's comfortable. You know. Sure. I mean, listen, five to ten thousand dollars makes a big difference. You know. Big time. That's uh, you know, and again, especially 
now in this day and age with the, the way the economy is right now yeah, and everything rates, is, yeah, is it's crazy yeah so I, I think i think a lot of people are going to be out there looking for a lot of more cheaper options when it comes to purchasing toys because these things are toys for us 100 percent. you know it's a it's a it's a recreational item something that you know listen some guys ride every day not everybody does but i'll tell you what if you can buy something that's going to one save you on gas it's going to be slightly more affordable and you can put your lunch and your whatever you need for work in your bags and take off yeah. and it's something that you can dip yeah. in and out of traffic with why not sure you know what i mean so and then at the same time on the weekend say hey tell your lady jump on the back and we're gonna go for a yeah. 300 mile ride yeah it's a no-brainer you know Facts. yeah man um that's basically our thoughts on everything on what indian needs to do for 2024 and 2025 but next few years to come in order to compete with Harley and kind of get more of attention from the crowd out there. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts and your comments down below. So go ahead, let me know what you guys think about our ideas. Um, let me know if you think anything else different or if, if you don't think Indians going anywhere. But I mean, whatever, just drop your thoughts and comments down below. Um, like always guys, if you want to follow Rich, Rich has his own channel as well, which he needs to do more content because he's been slacking lately. And I've, I've been trying to poke him like, yo, my man, like, what, what, what's up, man? You, you know, do some content or what? I got some news for you and I got to talk to you after this. That's but, right. And he's going to want to make you do more content. Sounds good to me. Uh, baggers and BS. Check me out. Instagram, Baggers and BS. So we'll be discussing Baggers and yep, BS. Baggers and bullshit. That's you right. heard? Thanks, guys. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.